The electromagnetic spectrum powers data transmission, but transmitting electromagnetic waves without modulation is like trying to throw a feather across a room. On their own, waves are subject to all kinds of interference. Modulating waves to a high frequency channel is like attaching your feather to an arrow. There are different types of modulation, but before we get into those, let's refresh on some keywords related to electromagnetic waves. We know that frequency describes how many electromagnetic waves pass a given point in a second, which is measured in hertz. One wave per second is one hertz. And wavelength is the distance from the crest of one wave to another. Amplitude refers to the maximum distance from rest position to the top of a wave's crest or the lowest point in a trough. Phase describes the relationship between the position of the amplitude crests and troughs of two waves with the same frequency and wavelength. If the peaks of the two signals are aligned in the same time, they're in phase. Now that we're caught up on vocabulary, we're ready to talk modulation. Modulation uses a high frequency wave as a carrier signal, varying a property of that signal in accordance with the message signal. You'll probably recognize two of the acronyms related to analog modulation, AM and FM. AM radio stations broadcast at a constant frequency and use amplitude modulation to transmit their message. FM stations, meanwhile, use frequency modulation. The carrier amplitude remains constant. Analog modulation is susceptible to noise, unlike digital modulation. Digital modulation uses a modem, short for modulator-demodulator, a hardware component that allows a computer or another device to connect to the internet. It converts, or modulates, an analog signal from a telephone or cable wire to digital data that a computer can recognize. This is a form of modulation called shift keying, there are different types, modulating different properties of the signal. Amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying, or phase shift keying. Let's take frequency shift keying, or FSK, as an example. To send a 1, the signal's frequency might be shifted up by 20 Hz. For 0, it might be shifted down 20 Hz. At the other end, the receiver detects the FSK and converts that to a 1 or 0, which allows a computer to interpret the message signal sent. It's almost like old-school telegraph technology. A person would transmit a message via telegraph using Morse code, dots and dashes, to represent the letters, and an operator on the other end would translate it back into letters for the recipient to read. We've just gotten a bit more high-tech since then. Learn more about how the electromagnetic spectrum powers data transmission at HowDataMoves.com.